All right, guys, so I thought I'd do a shorty video on how I set my meters, my uh, metering for my master fader in Pro Tools. All right, guys, so I open up this session. It's just a mix and master that I did recently. Um, ideally, you know, it's great to have a dedicated mastering engineer master your tracks and also to have someone different from whoever mixes your music actually master your tracks. But sometimes, you know, budgeting and other concerns arise and um, I end up mixing and mastering a track. So that's totally fine. That happens. So this track is an example of that. And basically, whether I'm mixing or mixing and mastering, I always put this uh, plugin on my master fader. So it's this Hofa for you meter fader and MS pan. And I think this is actually a free plugin, if I'm remembering correctly. So I will uh, link to it in the description below. But uh, basically, I use this plugin to check my luffs level. So I might have mentioned luffs before. Um, luffs, loafs, I don't know how people are supposed to say it really. But, but basically, it just stands for loudness unit full scale. And basically, it's just like one of the newer decibel systems for measuring the loudness of our track. And so LUFs are designed to actually give you a sense of the perceived loudness by the listener. So it's 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 trying to account for like the psychology of loudness a little bit to my ex understanding, um, but I don't know a ton about it. So maybe someone in the description below can tell us more about LUFs. But basically a lot of streaming services have a target LUFs point and they will normalize your track to whatever their target value is. So a lot of times it's negative 14 LUFs or negative 15, negative 16. Most of them are around there somewhere. So when, especially when we're mastering a track, we wanna know exactly where we're hitting with our actual track in terms of the LUFs value for the overall track. So that's why I put this plugin on there and I monitor this value. And basically whenever I go to play back my track, you can click here at the bottom and that will clear it. And then you play the whole track through. And I'm gonna show you how I set the settings on this plugin um, in a second here, but basically with the settings that I do, it's gonna show you the overall LUFS value for the whole track instead of like momentary or in the past few seconds type of thing. So uh, if you're using this plugin, just keep in mind before you start that playback, especially during the mastering phase when you're trying to get an exact value, just to click down here to reset that value um, and then start again at the beginning of the song. So what I do here, uh, templates help me skip this step a lot, but basically if you're opening this plugin anew, um, what you wanna do is you wanna go up to settings here and you wanna go to EBU mode. And then instead of momentary or short term, which are just gonna show you where those LUFS value, where those LUF values are hitting within a certain time frame. So um, usually not a very long time frame, right? I don't know exactly what these are using in terms of the time frame. This is probably um, in that exact moment, and then this is probably over, you know, a few seconds or something like that, averaged out. Um, you want to pick integral, and that's going to tell you over the whole track where you're hitting. And then the other thing that I do here is I switch this over to LUFS 18. So yeah, that's basically how I do that, how I set up that plugin for um, my master fader. I do this with every single project. I always have this plugin on there, uh, recently at least. And you know, I haven't done a ton of, like I've, I've looked into it, but I haven't really internalized like LUFs and exactly how they work yet. So maybe someone in the comments below can help us all learn about that. Um, and maybe at some point I'll do more research into it and I'll be able to explain it a lot better. But for now, I just wanted to show you how I I tend to meter my uh, master fader on a mix or on a mix and a master. So that's about it. If you like this video, you know, do the usual stuff that people on YouTube love. So like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And you know, if you wanna support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So I think that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay. This is how I do it. I'm sharing. I'm not perfect. Don't come at me, please. What else? It's like a fuzzy floating around. All right, uh, bye.